back at it again. And we have one from PragerU that I thought might be a little bit interesting to check out. So with that being said, let's dive in. There are crazy positions on the far left and crazy positions on the far right. On the yep. left, there are people who believe a man can get pregnant, that the world is going to end in a decade if we don't cap carbon emissions, that the real purpose of the American Revolution was to preserve slavery. On the right, there are people who deny the Holocaust happened, who believe that whites are inherently superior to other races, that no one should pay taxes. But there's an important difference between these two extremes. The crazies on the right have no voice. They are shunned. They live mostly on the far fringes of the internet. The crazies on the left have a loud voice. They are celebrated. They live in the halls of Congress, in state legislatures, and in governor's mansions. That is true. The two extremes uh, are displayed totally different. Interesting, but that is true. In light of this distinction, it might be interesting to ask ourselves this question. Which group, the left or the right, is more radical. We can arrive at a common sense answer by posing this thought experiment. What would America look like if the left got everything it wanted, and Ooh. what would America look like if the right got everything it wanted? Ooh, yeah, this Let's be start interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the crazy. left. Taxes would go up on individuals and corporations to pay for more social programs. Yep. Everything from universal childcare to free college tuition. They'd be trying to give us everything for free. They would just take it out of our, our you know, earnings though they would like he said up the taxes so it wouldn't actually be free so yeah I, I definitely yeah for sure no that's true absolutely many on the left call for income taxes as high as 70 percent oh no these these folks is just gone bonkers 70 so my question is if if people are being taxed at 70 percent right they're busting their behinds and the government is taking 70 percent of their checks doesn't that demoralize the individual to even work hard if the government's just going to come in and take most of what you have earned? So how does that system work when people say, you know what, I'm done working. I'm not I'm not doing this anymore. What happens then? Does the government then come in and take those people out? Let me know in the comment section. Um, this is a genuine question because, you know, just looking at it, I don't think a system or a country could function like that. You're taxing people at 70%. They say, you know what? I'm done working. I'm not working anymore. So now you have a huge swath of individuals who are no longer working, but are receiving, you know, these, these benefits or whatever that the government has put forth. Or does the government cut off those benefits to those individuals? Hey, if you're not working and you're not allowing us to take 70% of your check, you don't get free healthcare. You don't get free uh, daycare, or daycare or whatever. I feel like that would have to happen if the system continued to run. But let me know in the comment section. And even then, like, I, I feel like it would crumble. But y'all let me know in the comment section, please. Private health insurance would be abolished. The government would... But also, another question that I just that I just thought of is what happens when businesses or companies say that, you know, I'm not going to report how much these people actually make or I may report something a lot lower than what they actually make and pay them a higher you know, wage. Like for example, let's say a person makes $20 an hour. The government's taking 70% of that. Um, so they say, instead of reporting to the government that you're making $20 an hour, I'm gonna report to the government that you make $9 an hour. So instead of taking 70% of 20, they, only, they take 70% of nine. What happens in that kind of situation? How does the government check I don't know. I just have a lot of questions with that and, and how all of that would actually even work. So many questions. I, I, I can continue on. But if you have the answers for me, let, let me know in the comment section, please. I'm, I'm seriously curious. 70 percent. Private health insurance would be abolished. The government would provide all health care services. Everyone in the medical field, from doctors, nurses and administrators, would be government employees. Americans would pay for this government health care through much higher taxes. Illegal immigration would be decriminalized. It would still be illegal to enter the country without proper documentation, but no one who made it into the U.S. would be prosecuted for doing so. Illegal immigrants would also receive free health care, free education, and free housing. The Green New... Yeah, I, I definitely think the system crumbles under that. That I don't, I don't see how that works. Just anybody can just waltz in and they automatically receive all of this free stuff without even contributing uh, to the system. 
feel like the system falls apart in that situation because there's not enough money to go around. But I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. The Green New Deal would be adopted. Hundreds of billions of dollars of subsidies for wind and solar power would be added to the federal budget. Drilling for fossil fuels, the current source of 80% of our energy, would be sharply curtailed or eliminated altogether. So would nuclear power. As a result, consumers' electric bills would be much higher. Reparations would be paid for the past injustice of slavery. How it would be paid and exactly to whom is not clear. Legally acquiring a gun would become much more difficult. College debt would be canceled. Those who had already paid for college would get nothing. Transgender women, biological men who identify as women, would be allowed to compete against women in sports. America's military budget would be slashed by 25 to 50 percent. Speech codes would be enforced throughout American life. And that's just a partial list. Now let's ask what would happen if the right got what it wanted. All right, yeah, let's do it. Income let's do taxes it. would be cut. Capital gains taxes would be cut. Corporate taxes would be cut. And those cuts would be made permanent. Does the system work under that kind of situation either? In my mind, as far as taxes go, I feel like there has to be a balance to it. You can't go too high, but you also can't go too low. Because I feel like in a situation where there's no taxes, then a lot of things don't get done. For example, the roads. Right? I feel like no one would take their hard-earned dollars and say here here government or here entity fix our roads for us like collectively i don't think people would do that but that's just me y'all can let me know in the comment section uh like i said i haven't been diving into all of this pop political stuff for very long so i definitely could be wrong but just on the surface i just don't see that working either um i feel like there has to be a balance to taxation but like i said let me know income taxes would be cut Capital gains taxes would be cut. Corporate taxes would be cut. And those cuts would be made permanent. All regulations that make doing business unnecessarily difficult and don't protect public health would be repealed. The issue of abortion would be sent back to the states for each state to decide its own abortion rules for itself. We're already there. Many more charter schools would be opened and it would become much easier to fire bad teachers. Oh, In order yes, to please. vote, citizens would need to present a valid id the border with mexico which most people aren't um against anyway i find um it's just some of the loudest voices hate that idea but when you actually go and talk to people on the streets they don't mind it at all some of them even prefer it in order to vote citizens would need to present a valid id the border with mexico would be secured the only way to enter the united states would be through designated border crossings in order to qualify for welfare assistance, you would have to prove you could not work. The healthcare system would be open to free market reforms. For example, insurance companies could sell policies across state lines. Students in elementary school would recite the Pledge of Allegiance at the start of each school day. So what can we conclude from our experiment? It's not hard to figure out. If the right got everything it wanted, the government would get much smaller. The citizen would have more freedom. If the left got everything it wanted, the government would get much bigger. The citizen would have less freedom. You're not radical if you want America to be what it's always been, committed to individual liberty. You're only radical if you want to fundamentally transform America into something it's never been. Which country do you want to live in? Which country do we want to live in? Honestly, based off of that explanation, I'd say the right controlling it. Smaller government more individual liberty once again i feel like there's more of a balance to to it than just saying that but just based off of just this simple video i would say the right controlling it but once again i believe there's a balance to life i don't feel like you can go all the way right and you obviously can't go all the way left there's more of a balance um but that's just the way that i see it um you guys can let me know how you feel in the comment section below and something that's always kind of tripped me up is how people are still advocating for bigger government. When we've seen and have examples of how that bigger government eventually becomes corrupt and does things that they shouldn't be doing. Like, I don't I don't I don't get how anyone could still advocate for that when we have examples like today that we can look at. I don't know. It's, just, it's crazy to me. But as always, like I said, y'all let me know which do you prefer in the comment section? 
the left controlling it all or the right controlling it all just based off of this video's explanation talk to me in the comment section below like share comment and of course hit that subscribe button before you go peace and love i'm out